Hello, this is Arunita from India, an ethologist studying behavioral patterns in free-ranging dogs. These stray dogs are found everywhere in India. They do not live under direct human supervision, but they depend on humans for food. Interestingly, they have co-evolved with humans over the last 10,000 years. My niche of study explores a rather interesting paradigm between these two species, dogs and humans, which share a coexisting space in the urban ecology of cities. I draw parallels between dog behavior and human language. Now, there's a link that ties all human languages together. They all follow Ziff's law. So if you arrange all the words from an English book, say Romeo and Juliet for example, in decreasing order of their frequency, you will find that the frequency of the second word is half that of first. The frequency of the third is one third and so on. Now accordingly, they are ranked as one, two, three and so on. Now, if you replot this graph on a log-log scale, you get a straight line with a negative slope. This is called a power law. Ziff's law is a special case of power laws, where the slope of this line is found to be minus one, and it is constant for all human languages. So, for my study, I used a list of more than 5,000 dog behavior sightings instead of words from a book. The slope of my graph was not minus one, but minus 1.7. And this seems to be the magic number for the behavior of Indian free-ranging dogs. And it was found to be constant for other data sets from the lab as well. So in my quest to draw parallels between dog behavior and human language, I learned that behavior, although has similar traits like languages, is fundamentally a little different. On the other hand, another similarity between these two is that both these data sets follow the Pareto principle which means that only 20% of the words or behaviors in my case is responsible for 80% of the observation list or word list of the book. So the top 20% of the behaviors which make up 80% of our list will have common behaviors like sleeping, whereas rare behaviors like pooping will occur somewhere in the long tail. Power law distributions exhibiting the Pareto principle are a unifying thread to many kinds of data, not just words in a book or dog behavior. World population, size of moon craters, flight traffic, web traffic, heights of trees in a forest, DNA sequences in an organism, animals in a habitat and more. This research opens up endless possibilities and ways in which we can begin to understand the language of dog behavior. Dogs are known as man's best friend. And although the science that I do will not cure any deadly human disease, I believe there should be considerable investment into blue sky research such as mine so that we can better understand the world we live in and the creatures with whom we share this beautiful planet that we all call our home. Thank you.